ben moun ki te bon moi parce que m pa de gagner nan même tout à fait tout à voir moi bon c'est un monde qui te relé me qui dit mettre vinn faire descente là moun passe quel passe quel moment yo casse ka la voler fouiller yo prend jusqu'à présent me gagne moun en bataille tout we're here today in Bon Parisien, which is about 13 kilometers away from the border between Haiti and the Dominican Republic. When the earthquake struck in Port-au-Prince in January of 2010, about 600,000 people fled from the capital city trying to find their family members in rural areas so that they'd be able to find shelter and food. And because of the pressure in the capital city, it was impossible to respond in those early days to their needs. So we're in a region where a large number of people who originally came from here have returned home to family members. This is a poor region. People don't have enough food normally to feed their own families for more than six or seven months of the year. So the fact that these host families have taken in people is an extraordinary gesture of solidarity. And it shows what Haitians are doing to help other Haitians. But we need to help them. Otherwise, the burden of hosting somebody indefinitely uh, is an incredibly difficult one. Oui, je suis en train de faire des choses. 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 Je suis en train de faire so in some cases, um, a family living in this region would perhaps have taken in five or six people um, and they got, uh, over a period of 10 weeks, they got a small food package to allow them to feed, feed their relatives or to feed the uh, displaced people who had arrived. This is a very poor area, uh, poor soils, very dry climate, there's a lack of water, there's, uh, the, the people here don't even have food security all, round, all year round to feed themselves. So that aid was absolutely essential to help those families cope with the influx of people. First of all, I think we want to say thanks to the people in Ireland who raised resources that allowed us to provide food packages for 5,000 people in this region and for those who give generously to our campaign. Now we will be in a possibility to set up interventions here to keep those internally displaced people in the region, to be able to set up training workshops for young people so that they don't lose hope and don't end up working um, across the border in illegal activities where they'll be exploited. We want to stop the trafficking of women and children for exploitative employment opportunities, perhaps in the sugarcane industry there, and keep them at home, give them some stability, give them back their dignity. And so the funds that we collected during the Haiti campaign will go on working here over the next year to provide more permanent solutions for this population.